Okay, so today I thought, uh, this is terrible weather outside today, can't go for a ride or really do anything. thought, uh, talk a little bit about Vespa carburetors, particularly Vespa SI series carburetors. These are used, uh, on all, uh, Vespa large frames, so-called large frames from uh, about, uh, 1958. Uh, up through the last of the P series, which I believe is 2019, so quite a range of time, and they've come in a variety, different, many different varieties and different sizes over that time frame. And so here I have a sampling of several different examples of those. So starting on the left, this is a early version. It still has the uh, air cleaner. Uh, well, not the entire components of the air cleaner attached. And you'll note that it also has this lever here, which you can see in there is lowering a choke plate or a plate over the um, uh, Venturi. Okay. Uh, that is uh, pretty unique to, well, I shouldn't say unique, but is a uncommonly seen feature uh, because uh, these early carbs. Uh, often are get replaced with later versions. Uh, if we take uh, this carb and we just kind of look at it compared to this one, we can see that uh, this guy here has this protruding area here. This is this is the uh, enricher circuit, or, you know, it's not a choke, right? It's the opposite. It adds more fuel uh, that we see on all these later carbs and another one I'll show you over here. So the casting, of course, is significantly different uh, between these. Um, Right. Okay. Uh, I'll come back to this carb in a minute because some other things I want to point out on it. Okay, continuing on to the next few here that I want to point out. You'll notice that here it says SPACO. Bring that a little closer. I think that's how you say that. S-P-A-C-O. This is a uh, licensed copy of the original. These are originally Del Orto carburetors see here. Uh, Del Orto's were made in Italy, are made in Italy I should say. Uh, Spacos I believe are made in a variety of places. Um, I believe originally Spain but, but please don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. If we move over to this one we see that this is a Del Orto again so made in Italy uh, and then this one here is a Spaco. Okay so a few things to note about these. Uh, the model numbers are generally in this vicinity on the carburetor here. Okay, so uh, they do differ between different ones. Uh, this one for here, here for example, I'll see if I can get the camera in there a little bit. This is a Del Orto SI 20 slash 15 B. Okay. Uh, and uh, the 20 and 15 refer to the Aventuri parameters. And then the B, this is a, um, version B of that. Uh, this one here is essentially the same carburetor, but this is a Del Orto SI2015D, so uh, a later version of the same carb than this one. This one you'll note has the enricher circuit that I mentioned a moment ago. Uh, of course, different casting. Uh, returning to the, those numbers again, so 1520 the upper venturi area you'll notice ramps in the diameter is 15 millimeters down there and if we turn it over we can see that it's considerably larger 20. it's the operation of the slide here okay um spaco here this one it says Spaco licensed Del Orto here. This one says SI2017. So here we note that the upper venturi area, we compare to the 2015, we can see that the 2017 is somewhat larger. The bottoms are the same, 20, between the two carburetors. Now, these carburetors were used on slightly different models. These 2015s were used on uh, 
VNBs, so-called VNBs, or early 60s large frame Vespas, uh, whereas the 17s were used on a uh, variety of models, but mainly the Sprints uh, from the mid-60s through the mid-1970s Vespa Sprints. Over here I have another Spaco 2015D, and we'll use this to illustrate a few more things about these carburetors. So <clears throat> you'll notice these here. These are our main jet stack and our low speed idle jet stack respectively. If we grab a uh, screwdriver here quick, we can easily unscrew these. These are a little damaged here, so I'm not worried. Not These were nice carburetors that were going to get used again rather than just being parts things. I'd be much more careful about taking these jets out than using a Swiss Army knife. In the case of the main jet stack here, we see we have three different parts to it, each of which come apart. It's an air corrector, top, a mixer tube, and then the main jet on the bottom. These have been together for a while, so, so here's the air corrector jet removed from the mixer. It's going to be a bugger to get that main jet out of there, but it splits right there as well. Each of these is labeled with a number. This one you can see 160 here maybe if the resolution is good enough. Each of these is made labeled with a number and each has a function, right? So I'm not going to make this video about the functions of these. If you're really interested in it, there are videos out there or if you really want me to make a video, I'll be happy to do that. Um, pulling out the low speed jet, we can see the same thing. It's quite a few threads on there. Okay, so this is just a single piece, however, this is one. And also you see the stamped number in there as well, in this case, 42. Okay, so those are easily, uh, easily modified as needed for different applications. Uh, jets are available for these, new still. <clears throat> this guy here, this is not, um, maybe this isn't the best one to explain this with, this guy here might be better. This is your uh, idle speed. And so as you actually turn that in or out, let's see if we can see that here. It's going to actually, uh, you can kind of see it there, opening up the, uh, the throttle blade, All right? So <clears throat> that's adjusting your idle speed. And then this is your idle richness, so air fuel adjustment for idle. Um, a couple other things that should be noted about these if you're you know if you're watching this video and you're kind of new to these things and just this is actually a good video for just learning about differences in SI carbs making sure you have the right one for your application um, because they do each perform differently is to check very carefully for gaskets. Now you'll notice there's actually a small gasket underneath this screw there's a gasket here. There's a small gasket underneath this screw here too as well. There's a gasket here. There's a, of course a gasket at the base where it meets the uh, uh, the engine. And if any of these gaskets has failed, even, even modestly, uh, you're going to have gas all over the place and this carburetor is not going to work. Uh, even, even gaskets that may seem you know of little consequence like this one here too. Uh, the other thing you want to check for is it, carefully is in some of these pieces, uh, the castings are quite old, and you want to see whether you have any cracks present. Like right here, this is actually a uh, crack in the casting right there. Now this is this is part of the casting, so this is not the crack, but it's actually cracked uh, beyond that here. And the crack is extremely modest, and you can kind of see it spread a little bit. I don't, I don't want to break it completely. Um, but this is, of course, the fuel inlet. And if you have cracks there, that carb's going to leak all over the place too and not function properly. That one doesn't come, want to come apart right now, so we'll move over to this one. So very basically, fuel comes in from the inlet here, comes in through here.
drops through this very simple filter. That went flying pretty good. Okay, and then comes through this hole here. So once it comes into the lower area, rises up, comes through that filter, comes back down to this hole. You can see these are quite straightforward too to take apart. You shouldn't, uh, you can find, these are all, all of these are ones, well maybe that one is one I would actually use, but, but these other ones are all ones that are just sort of for pieces and stuff, right? So you take that apart, um, see here's the uh, needle and float assembly. So gas is coming in through here, right? Passing through that filter, coming back down this tube, which this tube here is above this needle and float. And as this float falls, of course, then it allows fuel into the bowl area here. And see if I can get the light to come just right. But down on the bottom of that bowl, I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah, there's a couple small holes, right, for the uh, uh, slow speed circuit as well as the, uh, in this case, the choke circuit and uh, the remaining circuits. Here's our uh, um, choke jet, or our, our, excuse me, our Richard jet. Um, so there's one of those gaskets. If that gasket there is not functioning, uh, you can have gas all over the place. So if you know if you're you you goof around with these old Vespas and you you know you've got it's not running properly or there's uh, gas flowing uh, not flowing properly, uh, chances are that this carb is a little messed up and it's uh, not too hard to um, to work on them and to take them apart. I'm never sure exactly when I'm boring people with this stuff. Probably always. Um, but if you're interested in a you know a video where I fully disassemble one of these uh, and rebuild it, that's easily done. We've got it halfway. <laughs> We've just taken it more than well, actually more than halfway apart right there. Uh, so there's not a lot to these things. Um, rebuild kits are still available as long as you know uh, which which carb you have and which one you're talking about. They do use different gaskets, so the gaskets associated with this guy are are different than this one. Okay, so to wrap up here, I want to show you this one here. This is a this is a Spaco. Uh, this is brand new, right? Uh, I've never used this. This is a this is a um, Spaco, but it is here. You see, Des Del Orto misspelled <laughs> SI twenty four twenty four E. So this is a twenty four mil Venturi. So this is a bigger bigger barrel carb. Uh, these were used on. Uh, the Rally 200s and the P200s. Um, now, the reason why I pull this one out and show you one, it's brand new, so these are still available. Uh, and the, you'll notice the casting is is uh, wet well, isn't not isn't the best, right? These are this is a Chinese made uh, Spaco copy, and uh, they can be had for quite a modest price. Uh, the the price differential between this and a, this and a real one is about uh, four to one. Uh, meaning this is you know one fourth the price of a Italian spec. Oh, I've not used this right, so I've not used this carb yet, and I don't know how it will perform. We'll give it a shot this summer and see see what it does. But for the price, I, I just couldn't pass it up just to kind of see like how it you know how it looks and so on and so forth. Anyway, so a uh, lot of variations here: Italian, Spanish, Chinese. One, two, three, four different size carbs here, and this does not. This is not all of them. This is not a complete listing. Indeed, the, the maybe the most common size is the 2020 uh, SI. So check carefully what you're using there, which which model you have. That's a 20 2015B, and that's a 2015D. And you can see they're different carburetors. They have different gasket sets that are necessary. So you can see this screw is not in all the way. The reason for that is because this is the wrong screw. This is a screw for this and not for this. And you can see this is taller and this is shorter. So you try to run that screw all the way down, it's gonna break that casting. So these this casting is, you'll note, significantly different from this one. You gotta know which one you have. There are a lot of similarities. Uh, the operating principles are the same across all of them, but they're all different carburetors. All right, hope this helps. Thanks everybody, have a good day, bye.